And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Wingspan, one of the most popular games to come out in 2019, still very, very much played. I'm sure if you're watching this, you enjoy the game. Otherwise, why would you watch a game about its second expansion? This expansion is bigger than the first one, uh, a longer box. That's because it adds new boards to the game. It adds new dice to the game. It adds new stuff. It's not nearly as much as you might think. I mean, it's pretty easy to integrate, but before we get into that, I'm just excited about the fact that it's Oceana. I think Oceana has really cool birds. I was excited about this one a lot just because I want to see all the new birds in this expansion. The North American birds are cool, but I see most of them in real life. Uh, the European birds, eh, they're neat, I guess, but man, Oceana, that's really cool. So that's probably the thing I was most excited about this set, but it also adds stuff. Let me show you. Okay, so the first thing that this expansion changes is it changes the boards. It includes five new boards for players, and you say, well, what has changed besides the look of it? So you'll notice here on the bottom that the actually the whole thing has changed. So now when you take a food on the, the top one, you can also turn in a card for more food. And so this increases faster and also adds in a spot where you can change in any food to re-roll the dice. In the middle spot, you'll notice there's also some changes here. Instead of getting two eggs in the first one, you get one egg, and then you can discard a card or a food to get an egg, and that changes as time goes by. And then on the bottom one here, you get the cards, and you can turn in eggs or wild nectar food to get cards. So there's some changes there. You're also noticing over here some game end scoring. So that has to do with the new food, nectar. So nectar is essentially a wild food token. Now sometimes a bird, like this one here, requires nectar exactly. Although you could pay two nectar for this bird. Instead of the fruit, you could pay two nectar to put this bird out. And there's gonna be cards like, for example, this activation card here. For this bird, it says if the player to your left has a nectar in the personal supply, gain a nectar from the general supply. So there's things like that, and in fact, as a side note, there's a lot of special abilities that have to do with what other people are doing. There are new dice included that will be giving you this nectar. So you'll see that it's on uh, two of the sides of the dice now. So nectar or wheat or nectar and fruit. And you might be saying, why would I ever take the thing that's not wild? Because at the end of a round, you lose all your nectar that you have. So you need to spend it in the round you get it. When you do spend nectar to put out birds or pay other costs regarding birds, you're going to, instead of putting it in the supply, you're going to be placing it on the row that you spent it in. And at the end of the game, that's what these bonuses are for, whoever spent the most gets five points and then two points for second place. So that's what nectar does. There's also yellow eggs because, hey, that's a color that's not in the game yet. It doesn't mean anything. They're just more eggs. This is all the birds in the game thus far. But hey, why not add more to that pile? <laughs> You're never gonna go through all the birds. But there is a lot of birds added to this particular expansion. As you can see, some of them require nectar in their cost, but there's more. There are new abilities, yellow abilities, on birds now. And these happen at the end of a game, but they're not points, they're just things you can do, which are essentially points. Like for example here, lay one egg on every bird in the water, including this one. For every two eggs in your water, lay one egg on this bird. Cache up to five food from your supply on this bird. So these are things that you can do that only activate at the end of the game. And there's quite a few of them in this, although realize that if you mix these birds with the birds from the original Wingspan, you will come across them much less often. But I did test the game out with just the birds from Oceana, and that seemed, I mean, if you want to see them more often, you'll see them there. There are a lot of cards, the new bird cards, that affect other players. I mean, look at this one. When you activate this, take a card from your hand, tuck a card, and if you do, everyone else gets a nectar. Here, choose another player, you both get a feather from the supply. Re reset the bird feeder and get a rodent, if there is one. You can give it to another player. If you do, you put three eggs on this bird. 
Here, gain all the feathers that are in the bird feeder. Keep half and then choose how to distribute the remainder among the other players. Choose another player. They get an egg. You get two cards. Choose another player. You both draw a card from the deck. So if you wanted more player interaction, this is definitely here. I struggled a little bit with these because it was always like, well, which player am I going to help? And I kind of just would try to pick the player who I thought was in last place. And you'll probably find yourself doing that unless they have a bird who can help me. Maybe we can make some sort of deal. And there are more birds and more birds and more birds. Now, I think the Oceana birds are really beautiful overall. You know, I said that that was something I was excited about. Like earlier, I showed you the emu, which is neat, and a penguin. Like when this one shows up, uh, people are going to want to get that one just because it's a penguin. But, you know, I think birds are pretty in general. But the Oceana birds may be the prettiest ones. I mean, look at these. They're gorgeous. And, of course, they all have special abilities. That's the other thing, too. So, you know, keep that in mind. I'm not just showing you to show how pretty the birds are. But it doesn't hurt. I don't know why those birds suddenly flipped upside down. There's also new bonus cards, new bonus tiles, a new score pad. By the way, this is one of my favorite new bonus tiles. Beaks pointing left or beaks pointing right. And you might say, well, what if the bird's kind of looking straight on? They actually mentioned that in the rule book. It mentions each one. But here we got cubes on play a bird or birds that are worth or less than three feathers, bigger than three feathers. I like that sort of thing. You know, having more of these. In fact, there's even one that says no goal. Although we usually would just reshuffle that back in and draw another one because we like having goals. But, you know, there's just more of this stuff. And then, of course, there is a full rule book that not only explains how to play the game, but also tells you about every bird and their powers, like always. Component-wise, it's nice to have the new eggs. The, everything else is great. The artwork's great on the things. It is a little weird if you're like me and have upgraded your game than to have nectar along with your upgraded food pieces, although most of these companies that make the upgraded food pieces are probably rushing along. You have these new dice, so kind of you need to keep both sets of dice. I mean, these replace the original dice. I guess you could keep these if you're playing without nectar and just say ignore nectar when you roll them. But I do want to emphasize that if you are using the nectar, I mean, if you're using these new birds, you got to throw nectar in because several of the new birds refer to nectar. So you can't ignore nectar. And so that brings us to the new board. Now, the new board is definitely a more gamery board. There's more actions and possibilities on it. And people who love wingspan and our heavier gamers are going to love the new board and the actions it takes. I will say that I am not in love with the look of the new board. Don't get me wrong, that's a very pretty picture that's easy to put, you know, I'd put up on my wall or something, but it's, I think, a little harder to read the stuff, and it's a real strong contrast to the very cheerful light board from the original one. There's a minor quibble, I'm just saying here, it's really easy to see all the symbols. On the new board, I found it slightly more difficult. This is a very slight problem. Also, uh, you're not going to get this stuff in the original box. It's just not going to happen, so don't even think about it. Now, I want to start out at the beginning by saying I like this expansion because I'm not going to be overwhelmingly positive, but I don't want people at the end to be like, it was a negative review. It's not. It's fun. I'll gladly play with this expansion. But there's a couple things. First of all, and this is not a, a negative thing, but this is just a thing, I attempted to teach some new people this, the wingspan with this expansion thrown in. That doesn't work very well. This is just a little, I felt like it was a little too much to throw people in with that extra stuff added. It's a lot easier to teach people wingspan and then add in the Oceana expansion. To that end, I think gamers are going to appreciate this expansion more than other people. I love the new birds. I love the new goals and the new uh, secret mission cards. I like you know, the new yellow abilities at the end of the game. I think they're fantastic. All that is super fun. Where I'm kind of dragging my feet a bit and I'm not as keen on is the nectar. Now, if you watch me when I do different reviews of games, I tend to want my games to be easier rather than to be more difficult. This makes it easier. Everyone even starts with the nectar at the beginning of the game. But the fact that you can grab wild is a pretty big incentive you know, why would you not grab wild? You can say, well, your food goes away between rounds. 
Yeah, but at the beginning of a round, when you know you're going to have several actions and you're going to be able to put a bird out, you grab the wild, especially since it counts for those area majorities. Now, maybe they added those area majorities in because the game wasn't balanced. I don't know enough about the balancing of the game to be able to talk on that regard. I just tell you that I, that's the one thing about this expansion I did not like. It just felt like this extra thing thrown in there. Like, whenever you spend nectar, then it's pot on the board, and whoever has the most at the end of the game gets extra points. Like, okay, I'm suddenly playing a weird area control game. I just thought that was weird, and I could have that could have been gone for all I care. The nectar felt a little too easy almost. Like, I can now I can build these birds that require three fruit. That's pretty hard. Oh, well, whatever. Now I can just use wild nectar to get to that amount. So, I don't know. I don't know that I like that direction of the game. But I like everything else. But like I said, you got to play with everything or nothing. You know, you can't play with just the... You can't ignore the nectar. You can't ignore those endgame area majority bonuses. I don't think you can anyway. And I still like it. I like the extra eggs. I like the extra birds. I mean, I could add a gazillion birds a wingspan and always be happy. Just give me more birds. That's what I want the next expansion to be called. Just give me more birds. Uh, I don't know that they need to keep adding new things all the time. The... Ratios, I'm assuming, are the same. I didn't count up the cards, but they've done a pretty good job of that in the past. I went online and saw people say this made the game more gamery. And the new board definitely does that. There's more decisions. And I think the new board is fine with all the different things it allows you to do. And it definitely, maybe there's one of them that you run up to the end on uh, more than the other. Again, I'm not like a wingspan super expert player. I've played it a lot, but I just play in the way the birds come up, the way it is. You know, I just work with them. But maybe they needed to fix that board a little bit. I don't know that that was necessary, but it does give more options and is fun. Uh, but I can also play in the original board. doesn't matter to me. This is not an expansion I'm going to play with all the time. I will... European expansion I just threw in. Who cares? It's just all mixed in. It doesn't matter. This is one that you got to keep separate because sometimes you want to play with the nectar and sometimes maybe not. The yellow eggs, I can use those, you know, why not? The more colors, the merrier. But anyway, that's what's in here. Like I said, please don't leave this thinking I didn't like it, because I did. I don't know that I liked it as much as my initial thrill at playing the game. I mean, Wingspan is a game I love. It's fantastic. This expansion is good because it adds more things, which I like. But the Nectar felt like it kind of changed the tenor of the game to something that wasn't as exciting as the original one. But I'll still play it and still enjoy it. So that's my review. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time. Dice Tower Judgment approved. <laughs>